Good morning, students. Today again we are in our chapter three, weather and climate, and we are coming to our next topic from this chapter, that is the humidity. This chapter is a little long going because I am explaining every small topic. Only I am taking one day class little, and related to that topic, I have given you little little question answers. So students. take care of that part and try to complete your every day's work properly in your fair notebook that's why i am moving little slowly and one day i am giving only one topic and with that topic i am giving you either two or the three questions so don't be careless write the things very carefully now come to the topic humidity humidity is the amount of water vapor in the atmosphere humidity is the measure of water vapor in the air question will ask you define the humidity then you have to write humidity is the amount of water vapor in the atmosphere now air contains evaporated air contains evaporated water vapor from water bodies and the land surface humidity varies greatly from place to place and also with time and another word you can explain as a humidity the amount of water vapor present in the atmosphere is called humidity one example i am taking here listen it carefully as a humidity levels go up warm temperature feel even warmer for example if i am taking the example of a kolkata kolkata are certain times of the year when the skin feels very sticky when the skin feels here very sticky and moist especially in the summer days in the month of april to may june june up to 15th of june like that that time if you will visit the kolkata area then you feel the skin you feel that your skin will very sticky and moist why does this happen this happens because with an increase in level of humidity in the atmosphere the speed at which evaporates at a given temperature goes down our body depends on the evaporation our body depends on the evaporation of water from the surface of our skin for cooling when there is a lot of humidity in the air the rate of evaporation slows down and so does the natural cooling system of the body the amount of moisture in the air is measured by an hygrometer hygrometer it records humidity in graph paper humidity is measured by an instrument called hygrometer and it records humidity in a graph paper humidity is expressed as ab absolute humidity and another one is the relative humidity first i am talking here the absolute humidity relative humidity sorry absolute humidity absolute humidity is one type of humidity it is the percentage it shows the percentage of water vapor in the air at a given temperature what this absolute hum humidity shows you it shows a percentage of water vapor in the air at a given temperature in a certain temperature it gives a percentage of water it shows you 
it is used for climate control and how it affects the health comfort and safety of humans this humidity one more thing i want to explain here see here this picture this picture see this is the equator this is the north pole and the south pole this humidity if the if we are near the equator the humidity will be the the absolute humidity will be the higher and when you are moving towards the pole then the humidity will express the, the the humidity will be the lower towards the pole when you are in the equator side nearby the equator the humidity will be higher near the equator when you are moving towards the pole that side the humidity shows lower okay this humidity is expressed as a grams per cubic meter and in a short form you can write like this okay what it is this is a grams per cubic meter another one is the relative humidity this is the ratio between the actual amount of water vapor present in the atmosphere and the amount that the air can hold at the temperature it is expressed in a percentage only this relative humidity expressed in a percentage only explanation of today's topic you have to attempt two question related to this humidity topic first one is write a note on humidity and the name and the name the name name of the instrument used to measure it next one what are absolute humidity and what is relative humidity today's homework is this two only okay till then bye